There uh, is a difference between the adult brain and the child, uh, child's brain when it comes to uh, uh, traumatic brain injury. Um, and, and I'm going to focus just on mild concussion at this time. <clears throat> the um, uh, child's brain appears to be more vulnerable to injury. Um, and it appears that it takes longer to recover from a mild head injury. In our research at University of Virginia Medical School, uh, we have looked at mild head injury in football players uh, primarily. Um, and this is an age group that's at the end of development of the brain, so it's almost a mature brain. And to make a long story short, our research suggests um, that the mature brain recovers within five to ten days of any concussion. So at, in college football, for example, most of our concussions on the field um, uh, result in uh, the player being out for a few days and slowly working themselves back uh, once they're symptom free. And, and that usually is by the next game. Um, in uh, children, it may be a very different story. And when I say children, I mean uh, anywhere up to uh, uh, about 21 or 25. The brain continues to develop till about 25, uh, but the, the vulnerability is probably at the middle school and the high school level uh, for the brain not quite being mature at that point. And we know that's the case. Uh, the frontal lobes certainly aren't as developed as the rest of the brain. The brain develops from the bottom up and from the back forward. Uh, so the last thing that kicks in is the frontal lobes, and that's the area of judgment and so on. So that's a good reason not to, to give your kids the car keys at uh, age eight. Uh, we at least wait till uh, uh, 15 or 16 these days. And of course, we, you, you can't vote until a certain age. You can't drink until a certain age. That probably reflects a, a lot of neurodevelopment that the, the frontal lobes have not yet developed. Um, in the case of children having brain injuries, uh, we have some animal models which look at this issue. And uh, there, what we uh, have found is, with mice at least, um, uh, and you, of course, can argue that mice are not people, but in mice, if you give a mature mice a mild head injury, um, it takes uh, about five to ten days, just like our football players, for the glucose utilization uh, that I talked about earlier and that me metabolism to get back to normal. In the immature mice, and this was research done at UCLA by Dr. David Havda, um, he found that it took between uh, six and ten times longer for those mice to recover their glucose utilization and metabolism. So if we want to extrapolate from that literature, uh, we would have to say that children are more vulnerable to the effects of uh, any kind of uh, uh, either concussive blow or acceleration deceleration injury.